All right, something else to talk about is the uh, the grounding system. Uh, I found this diagram on uh, MS Extra's website. Search Megasquirt grounding and you'll find it. Uh, essentially, a lot of these pins up at the top are grounded one and two, and then, let's see, it says one, two, seven through 19. So from here all the way across are all ground. I'm not sure how you pick exactly which ones you want to use, but I think most uh, of the ECUs, like the Simtech one, just picks about five of those, runs them. Uh, but you'll notice it also runs a uh, sensor return wire to one of the top pins, and essentially that's just grounding it as well. Uh, you've got to be real careful when you ground these um, because any noise in the system or any basically when you certain things are pulling a lot of current you'll get strange differences in the voltage uh, that the sensors are seeing so basically you want all your sensors grounded back to the ECU not just to the block so um, things like this coolant sensor here you got it wired in um, Basically this ground, a lot of times you could just take that to the block, but uh, if you do that, it might give you a weird sensor reading if some things are pulling a lot of current and stuff like that. So that guy's going to run all the way back as well as every other one. Uh, you can really hook those together uh, and then run them back under the hood and just run one wire. But I'm going to go ahead and just do, I got this nice shielded uh, two conductor cable, the gray stuff. So uh, I'm just going to run that back for each sensor. Um, just to make sure so I can kind of isolate things if I have issues stuff like that so um, as far as the actual grounding on the system uh, this guide up here shows uh, you know grounding to the engine block head uh, engine block slash head uh, and then let the battery be grounded to that head uh, I sort of did that I hope it's not going to cause me a problem but basically the um, mega squirt ground i've got a nice 10 gauge it goes into the car uh specifically i'm going to break out to a lot of those top pins but this ground i also have run all the way over to the negative terminal on the battery so uh it should have a nice ground uh that's very close to ne uh, battery negative i ohmed out between this and the battery and it gets about three ohms or something so uh that should be pretty good i think um, that's it.